it's a new day and it's a new sketch so like always I start with the borders of the face the outlines and then I start to locate the places that are eyes, nose and the lips are there are the hair lines the placing of the neck and ear There are the primary shadow on the hair and on the left side of the face. Fill up the face with the color of the skin tone. Without shadows and lights, we call it the foundation color. Create a darker tone of that color with more reds. Now we start drawing the base shadows with that darker color, like the shadows of the eyes under the nose. There are more details of the hair and placing the eyebrows. Blend that color, the dark color, with foundation color to create variations for painting different values of the face. Also use the color that you use for hair to create extreme darknesses like eyelashes and eyelids. Try to understand how much darkness or how much lightness you need in the portrait that you are drawing. Now there are the darker shadows and brighter lights, so you can create a contrast on your paint.
the brighter parts or the highlights or the last things that you draw. You start with the shadows and mid-tones then move towards the light. Look closely to your reference picture so you can draw the nose exactly like how it is. Nose is very different in different people. So pay close attention to your reference. Usually between the eyebrow and the eyes are darker than other places. Use the color of the hair to draw the eyes. Also add a highlight to create the illusion that he is looking. you now let's do out the ear the shadows in the ear and In the middle of the ear, sometimes you have a highlight, so pay attention to your reference that you are drawing for. Now let's use a color lookup. I use moonlight preset. I use a brush. to edit the mask layer to create an illusion of sunlight. Let's do a shadows of a tree of its leaves and its branches it makes your drawing looks alive if you are still watching please subscribe and like the video comment what you want me to do next thank you so much for watching see you in the next one